So we're now inside Rekordbox and I don't blame you if this does look confusing to you for the first time. There's lots of buttons, lots of text all over the place, but I'm going to talk you through the interface and how it all works. And then later on in the course, we'll go into detail on every single part. So at the top of Rekordbox here, we have the player area. Now, if you're used to any of the Pioneer hardware, then some of the buttons on here will look quite familiar. So on the left hand side here, we have a whole load of play controls. We have the Q and the play button. Then we also have the hot Q points here, memory points and our looping functions. And then on the right hand side here, all the memory points and the hot cues and some information as well about the currently playing track. We also have a tab under here for the grid. We'll come on to this a bit later because it's quite an important part and a great part of Rekordbox. Down the left hand side here is your folder structure. So this is where you're going to go to to kind of organize all your tracks. So we have the collection here. We have our playlists. We have related tracks, which is an amazing function, which will come on to a bit later. We also have iTunes integration, which is probably something that's going to be taken out very soon when they stop making iTunes. Then we also have ways of being able to explore your hard drive, manage your devices, the histories, which is an am another amazing feature. And then finally, our recordings. Again, Again, we'll get onto all of these in detail a little bit later. And finally, down the bottom left hand side here, we have the sync manager. This allows us to sync our computer with all its tracks on here to our USB sticks that we're going to use in the Pioneer players. And then on the right hand side here, we have our list of tracks. So depending on which folder we're in on the left hand side here, it will show us those tracks that are within that folder. So if we're in our collection, it will show us all the tracks within our collection. If we're in one of our playlists, again, it will show us all the tracks in that playlist. Now, this is a really handy table and very, very customizable. When we first load it up here, we can see we have a whole load of columns here with all the different information about our tracks. So we have a preview of the actual track, which is the waveform of the track. Then we have our artwork, we have the track title, the artist, and so on. There's loads more columns in here and we can customize it further. We can also order these as well. We'll come on to that in a little bit. And then finally on the right hand side here, we have a whole load of ways of managing our tracks. So we have tags within here. We have related tracks. We have the information for our tracks. And then finally, we have a second window as well. I'm going to go over these all in full detail a bit later. So don't worry if we're kind of going over them really quickly now. I just want to give you a quick tour of the interface. So if you've used any software before for organizing your music, such as iTunes, you can think of this as the iTunes for DJs, but with loads more features that are really applicable to DJs. And we'll go through those a bit later. But next up, we're going to import those tracks that are on our hard drive and start organizing them. 